Okay, we were just talking about the cons or disadvantages for maximum likelihood estimates. And uh, so the fact that it's a point estimate is one disadvantage. And uh, so a, a sort of particularly maybe degenerate in some sense thing that can happen is that uh, the the likelihood function, the probability of the data given theta, it could look something like this. It could be going along and then it could spike, you know, very sharply at some point. This is this is theta on this axis here. You know, just sort of heuristically. Think about maybe theta is one dimensional or you know just sort of abstractly think in high dimensions. And it's very low of everywhere else except then it has this big hump over here or something. So the MLE is going to be this point because it maximizes the likelihood function, but really it would be much more representative of the distribution, or not that distribution, of, of the likelihood function to choose a value over here, somewhere at something like this. So in some sense the MLE it, it, it could be, um, you know, since it's a maximum, it's it, you know it's a point estimate. It's not really representing the fact that this just you know that this function most of you know the the thetas which are large for which this likelihood function is large are could be somewhere completely different than the MLE. So it's a point estimate. That's one one problem. And so you know when we were talking about so for example, if we wanted to look at the distribution on x given d, if we were thinking about theta as a random variable, and you know in our discussion of the big picture, then we talked about how you could use the MLE as a point estimate for for theta in that integral. And then you would, um, you know, put a point mass there, and you could approximate this predictive distribution by the probability of x given theta MLE. So it's, but it, this is, you know, it's an approximation. So that's that's the point. It's an approximation. Okay, another con is that the MLE can overfit, and this is a can be a very severe problem. So a classic sort of example of overfitting would be in regression. One one example, if you have if you're doing regression and you've got some points here, say say you're doing you know you're going to choose a polynomial or something to try to fit these points, and you have some probability it, you know you assume that these are maybe normally distributed about some polynomial. And if you just took the maximum likelihood solution for the polynomial, the coefficients of the polynomial, you might severely overfit this thing and try to go through like every point or something. So you might get some crazy looking polynomial here that just is not representative of your function at all. You know, more representative might be, you know, in this case even just just like a line or something. So you can overfit, and that's a, that can be a severe problem with MLEs. Another way in which this can be a problem, a little bit different way, is that for some types of models, overfitting mean, can mean that you end up putting zero probability on certain events. So there's what's called, so this is a regression example. And then there's a what's called the black swan paradox. Not really a paradox. I think maybe philosophers or something called the back black swan paradox. But in statistically, what, what what this refers to is if you put zero probability on some event, like for example, you know, I guess for a long time nobody had ever seen a black swan in you know at least in most of the world, and so you would put zero probability on the you know on seeing a black swan. But then if you go and try to do computations with zero probabilities, you can end up you might end up dividing by zero or something 
and so you know so if you when you actually saw a black swan then it would just blow your mind you know everything would go haywire because you had put zero probability on that event another problem which is a little bit more um, maybe uh, of a little bit different nature than these others is that the likelihood you know it might be the wrong thing to maximize so you might be maximizing the wrong objective and in particular you know the MLE is not it's it's disregarding any possible loss function that may be at play so if you wanted to choose a good value of of theta but your choice you're going to incur some loss based on your choice then you really ought to take that into account and if you just go with the MLE then you're disregarding the loss and so you might you know it might not be the correct thing to be the likelihood might not be the correct thing to be maximizing and one final little con which I mentioned before is that existence and uniqueness of MLEs uniqueness is not guaranteed so that's MLEs and some pros and cons some advantages and disadvantages